As I was saying, Brandon's about to go to a live interview with OAN on American News. We're not plugging anybody, but they're giving us some air time to, to push that we are out to rescue America. So if he gets the cue to scream that out, make sure we uh, all go with him there. The next few speakers are Baltimore guys, born and bred. And part of this movement, we wanted to make sure that people right here in the city, in all the cities, and I think next week we're in uh, Sacramento, uh, or Calif somewhere in California. But these next three guys are, are leading the charge right here in Baltimore City. They stand up and they fight something different than most of us fight. And I've seen it firsthand. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Anderson. Welcome Baltimore! And they say we couldn't do it. We couldn't put a rally on. We got Trump supporters here. We got uh, Walk Away here. We got some Democrats here. And we got protesters here. So I'm loving this. This is what it's all about. Bringing people together. Unity. Bringing people to sit at the table and speak. You know, it's not always about a violence. Some people say, you know, I don't want to go to Baltimore. Well, guess what? Baltimore, when we had the riots down here, the uprising, there were uh, people that were going to turn the city apart, and there were some community activists like myself, uh, 300 men that stopped that from happening. People had bottles and everything. We're not having that here at Baltimore. Yeah, yeah. Baltimore is worth saving, and I'm glad every one of y'all showed up to make that happen, including the protesters. I just want to say something about Brandon Strzok real quick. I would not be standing here if it wasn't for him. I met Brandon um, a little ways before the campaign started, before I became a walkaway member. Murray, Murray, give a shout out to everybody. Murray, Murray gets credit. Our walkaway leader here in Baltimore. Raise your hand again, Murray. She don't get enough credit. She don't get enough credit. Oh yeah, we were on right, right side broadcasting. Murray, come up here for a second. Come here. Come here. Yeah. We got over two million views on White right Side Back. As y'all probably recognize, I'm standing next to each other right now. This is the lady that got me on the walk away, that helped me walk away uh, from the Democratic Party and helped me to uh, start a new life with my conservatism. But it's not about that. Thank you very much. You want to say something? Baltimore is definitely worth saving, and there are people out there to do it. We need to be unsilent and make it happen. Walk away, Maryland. Walk away in Maryland. Yeah. So I just want to say something about Brandon next. When Brandon, when I met Brandon, I could not believe it. I was like, I was, I was with Walk Away already. I was, I was with the concept. I met Murray. Murray got me into the group of Walk Away. The concept is not to go to the Republican Party, but to walk away from the process that this people right behind us put us through in Baltimore. There's 300 plus murders, there's trash, yep. there's crime, there's drugs, and this place is sitting right next to Washington, D.C. and worth saving. It does not have to be like that. And I don't care who don't like it, I am with that message. I don't care who I roll with, I am with that message. If, if Trump supporters are saying Baltimore's worth saving, damn it, I'm saying Baltimore's worth saving right along with them. The people here should be saying that. The people here should be saying that. And to my protesters, I got a message for you too, my protesters. Freedom of speech is for you too, and I'm glad that you're here representing what you're representing. It's because of them that we're here. They're protesting, they came down here every day to say to this corrupt administration that we are tired of people, uh, be, lives being lost here in Baltimore, and now we're tired of people lost here, being lost all over America. And I wanna say this to y'all, our message is not that far apart. We wanna walk away from that process, and we wanna put a, bit, a process in there that will work. Be it independent, be it Republican, I'm hoping it's Republican. I'm hoping it ran. I know it's Republican because we are the only ones with conservative values that can save this country. We support the First Step Act. We support low unemployment. We support um, sending money to uh, Baltimore um, City HBCUs. So we got to get people in Baltimore to understand that. This is just a drop in the bucket. This is a red drop in the bucket, but we got to get people to understand. This is the spark. I'm glad Brandon started here. This is the spark. We got to get people in Baltimore to understand that they cannot keep voting the same people in that's going to corrupt, put trash on their street, and make their city look like hell, in turn making us look like hell. I represent Baltimore, and that's not what we're about. We want to save America, too. So thank y'all. Thank y'all, every last one of us, for coming out and not being afraid, okay? Brandon is not afraid. 
I like that about him. He's not afraid. He's not trying to siphon votes away from somebody else. What he's trying to do is save liberal cities one at a time. So go to walk away and join with this man. This man means what he says, and I swear to you, when I met him, he's an honest person. I'm glad to be a part of a walk away member. Remember, I was a walk away member before I met him. So I, I believe in the movement and everything that he's saying. And all you protesters over there with your freedom of rights speech, you should believe in walk away too. Please give walk away a try. We are not, our message is not that far apart. Thank y'all very much. Now, I want to say something. No, I'm not done. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done, Alexander. I'm not. I'm not. Wait till Eugene boycott because I mean, he got to yank the Mac out of his hand. Um, <laughs> what I want to say about this, uh, this, this establishment right now, I want to tell everybody, just look behind you. You see this city hall. It sits there as a beacon of light in Baltimore City has sat there for a very long time. But it's been sitting there for 70 years and it hasn't gave up the damn thing for it. I am tired of administration in there that's in there not doing We can't even get trash, trash cleaned up off the street. So I'm glad we out here and I can say that message to them to their face. My name is Christopher Anderson. I'm telling y'all right now, you should be fired for the poor ass job that you're doing in Baltimore City. <laughs> I'm sick and tired, and all people in the, in the residents in Baltimore should be sick and tired and walk away from this corrupt, criminal establishment. I am very sick and tired of it. Know who I am. Christopher Anderson, know who I am. See Anderson 2020 on Twitter. Know who I am. Also, our churches, our churches need to be standing with us. They're not standing with us enough. Our churches have Christian conservative values. For everybody that's watching, that's in Christ, in the Lord, I'm glad we led with prayer. You might not like some of these things. Religion is not that popular no more. But guess what? God has always stood with Baltimore. Always. He stands everywhere. But God, I know for a fact that God is here. And we need to bring the Christian community out and stop voting for the world and vote your conservative Christian biblical values. Stop being scared. I am so tired of my church folk. They should be out here standing right with you guys. Don't let the word Trump offend you. He's the one standing up for your biblical values and your uh, religious values and your freedom of speech to go forth in the community, change the form of the uh, community of Christ. Without you, this race is going to be very hard. So all our Christian community, you should get in line and start voting your conservative values. Also, I want to say, also, that I'm very tired. I mean, so many Christian, um, so many conservative values that's fighting for the city. I'm very tired of the trash. I'm very tired of the crime. I'm very tired of people thinking Baltimore does not mean it. You should, you should hear the things I've heard since I started running as a conservative. You should hear the things I've heard. I, I mean, you can just imagine Uncle Tom this, the traitor that, and this and that. But guess what? The people of Baltimore that sit in their homes every day and they're gonna vote the same establishment that's turned you say that turn you down the only traitor to baltimore is you okay we saw y'all heroes we are y'all examples if you don't know how to walk away from a corrupt establishment we will show you how to do it that's what walk away is for that's why we are the heroes and you can't i don't want to hear another word traitor word come out of anybody if you're not brave enough to come out here and say the same thing democrat independent or republican then you are the traitor to america as well as baltimore Yes, I'm frustrated, and I get to let it out today. I am frustrated. I'm frustrated with the people in Baltimore. I'm frustrated with the politicians in Baltimore, and I'm frustrated with the Charlton Perch in Baltimore. All of y'all are afraid. All of y'all, especially you Democrats that, that call yourselves Democratic voters, you are afraid to say it's not working. It hasn't worked in 70 years. You need to try something different. And if you can't try something different, at least walk away from the walk away um, the process. All I want to say is I thank Walk Away for having me up here. Chris Anderson, see, I'm sorry, see you at C Anderson 2020 on Twitter, look me up and everything like that. But I want to say one thing, we should all, including the protesters, we should all walk away from this process and look for something better that we can do that will unify us and bring us together. It's not about tearing us apart. It's not about tearing us apart. So yes, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away, walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away.